I just recorded my entire intro with my microphone put all the way over there. Feels good. What is good, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. We got a good video for you guys today that I'm super, super excited about. Those of you who've been around the channel for a little while, you know that I have a Minecraft SpongeBob series that I did a long, long time ago. And now how I wish that this would be an announcement of me coming back and making that. It is not today, unfortunately. So this is Dinoscar. He's been a subscriber to the channel for a long time now. So uh, yeah, you might have seen a comment a long time ago on your videos. I, I did, yeah, I did mention I used to be a lifeguard, actually. Oh, yeah. yes, I remember that that now that's yeah, yeah, so, so funny yeah. so recently we just started messaging each other on discord and basically one thing led to another he invites me to check out his minecraft spongebob world because he's got one himself he's got a youtube channel where he posts about it so i'm gonna link that in the description if you guys do enjoy the content around here be sure to leave a like subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already don't forget to go over subscribe to dino scar and i hope you guys enjoy no i was like i booted up my launcher before because i was like oh i haven't played in a bit so i had to update and re-sign in so Ah, uh, yeah, 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 I get you, I get you, yeah. Probably took took a hot minute since you haven't been on in a while. Yeah. I'm gonna make a copy, so, um, yeah, backstory of that, I, uh, I've been playing Minecraft since since Xbox 360 edition came out. I mean, I did play like knockoff games on my tablet back then. Dude, Minecraft. I did too. I did too for the <laughs> longest time. That's so funny you say that. Call, there's this thing called like the ring of death and you'd lose everything on your console. So I had that happen a couple times and I lost like maybe over a hundred worlds and stuff. I've always just like had people always like, I would give up if I, were you, if I, if I ever like lost that many worlds or something. And I don't know, it's just like something that always stuck with me, like Legos, you know, making stuff yeah. or whatever. It's just, it's always been a hobby, you know? Yeah, for sure. So. Minecraft's just such a good, like I want to start to get into it again. It is so much fun to have a game where it's like, you can just like load up and it's just there. That's why my buddy Drew and I, when we had our SpongeBob world, that's why we um have so much stuff on there is because oh, like every like year and a half we would come back to it and start building on it. Yeah, I thought I thought it would be cool to like show you because you know it's all your channel. Yeah. But yeah, the the whole plan with this at first there was no plan, so you you'll probably notice straight away when you join you'll be like, whoa, these builds are kind of big for Minecraft scale. Yeah, again, it wasn't really planned. I was just like, yeah, I mean, what would it look like if I made it this big? It's not extremely big. It's just bigger than you know one by one scale player. I I mean like everyone else I mean you probably made a SpongeBob world when you're younger yes that's like the one thing that my buddy and I were saying was like everybody does it let's just do our own and ours turned out to be pretty cool but uh, as a kid like that was that was my that was my jam you know like dude I, I got a big I was just say I want to say a big reputation in my like the community for bedrock but let's just say like I'm trying to think of where to start I got too much stuff to talk about man yeah. I'll stick to the SpongeBob stuff and then maybe some other time I could talk about like other things, but um Yeah, yeah, for sure. I'm ready, I'm ready. No, you ain't. So uh yeah, you might have seen a comment a long time ago on your videos. I, I did yeah, I did mention I used to be a lifeguard actually. Oh yeah. yes, I remember that now. That's yeah, yeah, so, so funny. Yeah, yeah so I, I worked as a lifeguard from a young age of 15. Um, normally, you only get paid, you only get like they start from age 16, but like, you know, my birth, I'm a Scorpion or Scorpio, where they call it. Yeah, Scorpio is what they call it. Yeah. So, yeah, my, my birthday is more towards the, you know, the end of the year. So they just like, you know what? You seem like a pretty responsible. So, like, you know what? We'll just hire you. You know, you're not going to mess around or whatever. But, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So this was first build that I did uh I don't know if you heard of this thing called like world painter it's like or MC edit I have heard of the world painter okay so yeah I use that to like do this terrain and stuff so I kind of you know this is on bedrock so I transferred it back and forth and in doing that back then there wasn't really too many good softwares that were like that were like mm -hmm. I don't know user friendly so that's kind of why like stuff like this would happen down here you see like these weird random blocks placed down Oh, yeah. Yeah, the, the coding got messed up. So I got to go, like, eventually, you know, fix some of that. I, I still, I've just been lazy with it, you know? Yeah, but, uh, so yeah, there used to be interior down here. That kind of just, yeah, 1.19. I don't know if you had that with any of your builds, but the height limit thing kind of messed up with oh. anything higher or below. But yeah, through my thought process of making this, I did go off of, uh, like, real-life images. So, like, you know, the Napoleon, oh, yeah. what do you call them? The Easter Island heads. 
Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I actually went off like a real life one. That's kind of why it's kind of shaped like realistic. Yeah, this this stuff's like more of the lower end stuff. Cause, you know, it's older things that I made. Yeah. But uh, go upstairs here actually. Uh, let me see. It's free real estate. Oh, he's scared the crap out of me. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, for this, I actually had a texture pack on before, but uh, yeah, that's a part of the story of uh, things getting corrupted a lot. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go back eventually and uh, what do you call fix all this? Cause it obviously looks pretty bad in here, but you yeah. can see what I what I have. I mean, you can see in my like videos and stuff. You, you can see the thought process of like the walls and what I was going for. Oh yeah, no, this is like, like but, the same texturing that we did because we did all of ours through like console so it was like you know i definitely feel the struggle of like trying to find stuff that matches but uh yeah it's the bathroom yeah and everything's big because you know the scale's big and yeah uh, this to be honest with you the scale's just goofy i kind of want to just fix it up eventually yeah that's the one thing we did ours like in terms of minecraft scaling so like yeah, there was a lot scale. of stuff that was hard to like actually fit in and like yeah. I and like kind of make it look good but this is this is cool to see. Oh yeah, for sure cuz it's you know it's different but at the same time it's one of those things where you kind of just pull your hair your hair out over because like again the scale's yeah. confusing you yeah. and then you run back like why did I even start it this way? Should I have just done it, you know, by Minecraft skill? Yeah. Unlike but... ours like we were like, "Oh, we actually want to move these over here." And so like moving the building literally meant just rebuilding it. So then we were like, well, we may as well make it nicer, bigger. But yeah, you'll see even here, like the blocks change because like it's a log. So you could you could turn it any direction, right? Yeah, just the softwares back then, they absolutely sucked. But this is what it's supposed to look like as a design like that. Nice. Oh, Weird OK. Kind of, yeah, that's what that's originally what I had. It just glitched and I just became lazy and just like you know what? I'm just gonna leave this here for now. And I'll come back to it, but I just never did. But uh, yeah, you can see here is like just stuff from the show. Obviously, you know, it's bigger because I don't know why I made it this big. Really, don't know why. I don't know if you can see all this like terrain, those coral things out there. Yeah, the, yeah. Like, the whole environment. You see the the ocean surface as well. Yeah, I could see all that out there. Oh dang. Okay. Yeah. So this to get this out of the way, the ocean surface that took me a long time to do i had to I'm do sure. a template off world painter and i had to wait hours and hours and hours just leaving my computer on rendering let it do its thing and it would crash and then i'd have to do it again so it took me about a month just to get this thing actually working that's crazy though it looks so yeah. cool like just to have like yeah. the, the ceiling yeah and then uh speaking of going back to like when i lo like losing worlds and stuff i actually almost lost this world multiple times and the only reason why i got it back is because i had a copy on java that's crazy <laughs> so yeah what happened was um i'll show you on a different world eventually but i did tentacle acres where they had like all the squidward houses oh and you probably and just like copy pasted them yeah i made the mistake on putting way too many i had over like at least 10 million what <laughs> jesus <laughs> <laughs> yeah i was and, thinking like uh, maybe like 250 500 yeah, it's like scary it. though just because of how much time you put into this oh yeah dude my heart dropped you could probably imagine the amount of anxiety i had but yeah this is all <laughs> just corrupted i obviously i don't know if you noticed but i use like command blocks to get you inside yeah um so yeah that's obviously all just broken i need to go back and do that yeah this this area you know it's pretty i'm pretty satisfied with it other than this area here i just never got around to redoing it yeah i mean for one by one scale it would look great but since you know everything else here is just like different it doesn't really yeah. look together well you know but then uh this door would normally lead you to the library um but it's kind of just broken um you go up here it takes you to you know, the top and just i really like focused with like scenery you know so like you come down here oh, yeah. and look out at con street and That's it's awesome. kind of it's kind of intimidating though considering like how small we are you know Apparently, yeah but for sure uh but yeah the colors here for the leaves they originally were made out of warp wood logs but over the years i kind of just been messing around with the, the gradients and stuff i am yeah. gonna like th this block is going to be complete, probably completely different probably going to do like some gradient with a bunch of greens to have like some shading or something 
Yeah. But, uh, I like the color see, on like, it, though. It's kind of a cool, bright oh, color. Oh, yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah, because it's very, like, saturated, you know? Mm -hmm. But, uh, yeah, so if you go underground here, I did go into MC Edit, which is known as, uh, what do you call it? Amulet for Bedrock. But, uh, let's see, where the crap is it? Uh, a few moments later. Here it is. Sorry about that. What the no, heck? No, you're good. Yo, I need to fix this, man. What the heck? Bedrock on the top. I don't even know how that happened. All these updates, man. Yeah. It, they really messed with everything, but, uh... This is cool, though. You have, like, the yeah. slide down, his chair, which is cool. Oh, yeah, for sure. And then you got, like, the little tiny door here. I don't know why I put a little tiny door here. But, uh, I'll obviously change that eventually to go with the scale. <laughs> That's awesome. But, uh, yeah, we can go back to the surface.